Runk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to episode three something something of Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, Grand Rapids, I'll be there soon. Grand Rapids, I'll be there in um, uh, on Thursday uh, tonight. Tonight, I guess, and then uh, Saginaw, I'll be there on Saturday. Uh, Saginaw, which I didn't know was a place, but my dad was like, "Yeah, no, that's a place." Or and my uncle was like, "Yeah, that's a place." Yeah, uh, Nanaimo. BC, Victoria, Augusta, North Charleston, St. Petersburg, Ir- oh, Irvine, I'm doing the Lifeline Live one. Chattanooga, Tennessee, Charleston, West Virginia, Des Moines, Iowa, and Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, wait, is there more? No. Uh, at crystalia.com. Also, go get my we- uh, my um, special at crystalia.com called Grow or Die. Support. Love it. Um, and, you know. I went to uh, a bunch of different places. Let's see. I went to, well, North Carolina. I, where was the place I went to? Uh, not Raleigh, not Charlotte, not... Oh, Durham. And then was in um, the the other one, West... No, Virginia, uh, Norfolk. Dude, I don't know where... I don't know, I guess. I, N- Norfolk is really nice. It's a huge military town. Um, and then we did the... Uh, uh, but before that, I did Durham, which was cool, um, and my wife is from there, so we did that. But, you know, uh, my wife just, it was me and her, no kids, and she hadn't been not around the kids, I don't think, in a while. I don't even know if she's ever been not around the kids uh, with Billy being born. Maybe maybe she has, but, yeah, maybe she has, but not with us. Dude, when I leave and I go to, and I go somewhere... I miss the crap out of my family. Um, but when I'm with her, I really miss my kids because I'm like, are they okay? You know? Could be doing anything. Because we don't get anyone to watch them. So um, they just kind of hang around in the house. We put up like a kitty litter box. But um, no, we get someone to watch. Obviously, we have a nanny, but it was great. Uh, but it was, it, you know, my wife, when she's out, it doesn't matter what she's like. This is an awesome vacation. I'm like, baby, it's not a vacation. She's like, no, I know, I know, but it doesn't matter where we are. If we're, at, if she doesn't have the kids, it's a vacation. Targets a vacation if she go. If she ends up going by herself, she, it's like it's like having a mai tai on the beach. And I know moms can probably uh, uh, identify with this, but it's like she can just she could get drafted in the army and go to Russia and have to fight. And just be like, woo woo, where my lady's at? With a Mai Tai out, scoping, aiming. I'll I'll just whatever. Yeah, we gotta flank them, sure, but I'm I'm so drunk. We have to flank we have to flank them, but I'm drunk. Woo! In the leg. Oh my god, fucking ouch. Let's go, let's keep going. Woo! That annoying one that chicks do. That annoying one, dude. Yeah, we could be. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Literally, be trapped in uh, the in the in the in the Congo, and she's just like, "God, I'm thirsty," but still, Ooh, no kids. Um, so we were there, and look, I'm just gonna level with you. She plays Pokemon too much. Okay, she's 32. She plays per- Pokemon too much. We got on the scooters, and we were driving around. Mm-hmm. in Vir- Virginia with the scooters. And she just goes, I'm like, come on. She's like lagging. And I'm like, come on. And she's like, babe, I, I have to get a moo to. I never got one. Now, naturally, I'm like, what are you? T- oh, yeah. the Okay. The Pokemon thing. She said, but there's a raid. I'm like, all right. I don't know what that is. Well, other people are meeting up. And I'm like, oh, no. I got to sit here, wait on a Lime scooter for my wife to get a moo to with other people that are, are I'm, I'm going to have to meet, you know? 
And so we're like waiting. And I'm looking around like, where are the dorks? But then I'm like, I wouldn't know my wife was waiting for a Mewtwo. So I'm like, they could be anybody. And I'm looking around. And then I see this table of three dudes that look, look and I'm just going to level with you, okay? They look like they're on the spectrum. And that's it. And I, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that sounds bad or what, or if you're going to turn this off. But that's how they looked. It, you know, if I was writing a novel, that's how I would write. And at last, they looked like they were far over to one side of the spectrum, or at least a little bit. And you would get it. How about that? You would get it. So it's your fault, too. Um, and they're sitting around a table. And I swear one of them just says, Ah, you must be Panda to my wife. And my wife says, No, no, I'm actually KT, Pokey, Pokey Head, or whatever the heck it is. She's like, oh, Okay, well, I guess we're still waiting for Panda. I don't know where Panda is, but we got to get started pretty soon. I have to defeat the Mewtwo and catch him and catch a Mewtwo. So we sit there, and she gets uh, to attack in the Mewtwo and with the Pokeballs. With the three other dudes, Panda Panda ended up showing up with her boyfriend, and it was uh, it, there were two people, and they were both attacking. So there were two, three, four, five, six, six people that defeated Mewtwo that day, and I was sitting waiting on my lime scooter, probably the dorkiest of them all, because I was on a lime scooter waiting. Hey Chris, what are you doing? Waiting for my girlfriend, actually. Waiting for my girlfriend to capture Mewtwo so we can move so we can move on and look at the battleship. It's a, it's a, it, it, it's a military, it's a military town. So she got the mood too. And then we went to go look at the, um, battleship, which I don't know, man. It's just like, you know, I guess the, the place should make money off of the battleship because they parked it and now it should be a tourist site. So, so there it is. You know, people just walk in and out of the battleships and stuff. They got fucking battleships outside. It's a little disconcerting, you know. I mean, I know I'm not uh, like Mr. Ameri American, but it's weird when you look out of the, the hotel room and you just see fucking three battleships. Like, I know, I know. I know it's history, but also uh, it's crazy. In, 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 uh, it, it You know, it's crazy because... Well, speaking of history, they found an, uh, a pyramid in Antarctica. Not in Egypt. Antarctica, which means we're dead. Which means we're dead. I The more I hear stuff, the more I think that history just kind of... I feel like we blew up the world and then started over again. I feel like we were really technologically savvy right around, you know, the year zero. Blew up and then, you know. Uh, geologists at the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam said the pyramid-shaped structures are located in the Ellsworth Mountains, which is uh, a range more than 400 kilometers long, so it's no surprise there are rocky peaks popping out of the ice. I don't know... Um, they're beneath the ice. Um, and they're trying to pretend like it's just something that happened. I guess that. A mountain poking out of the top of the ice and not a mysterious pyramid. Oh, look at the way they're saying in this article. So the new location is just that. A mountain poking out of the top of the ice Antarctica and not a mysterious pyramid at all. Eh, trying to cover it up. Antarctica has been the subject of more than its fair share of speculation re recently. Uh, after conspiracy theorist Eric Hecker described the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station by the South Pole as air traffic control hub for aliens earlier this year. Oh, trying to cover it up. Hecker claimed that 2010 Raytheon, that in 2010 Raytheon, the U.S. Aerospace and Defense conglomerate chose him to be a con contractor to the uh, on the research center operated by the United States National Science Foundation. There was much more, quote-unquote, to the station that met the eye, according to Hagler. Oh, trying to cover it up, shoot him. Oh, take him out. Dude, I don't know why. You know what? Here's the thing. that I, I know governments obviously take people out and stuff, but I, I, I kind of wish they would just take more people out. I don't... I, I want... I want them to get just... You know? Like that thing. To be the last thing that they hear. Loose lips sink ships. Loose lips 
sink our country. And, you know, I am a patriot. So anytime someone speaks out or uncovers some documents or carries around a dossier even, <laughs> that's it. Last thing you hear and they fall on the ground. Why isn't the government... There's a popular, There's too many people in the world, in the in, in our country. Hey, government, come on. Start off with some people. Loose lips belong six feet deep. That's my new one. Um, it was Easter, and my son's dressed up nice. We were at my aunt's house. It was nice. Came back. And saw so many posts on Instagram that was like, remember, Easter isn't just there for about bunnies. It also means your God died for you. And it's like, yep, some morbid. Hey, dude, can I just eat some candy? I know. No, no, no. I, I know. I know, I know. But let me eat some juju bees and just chill. No, I get it. I know. Jesus was hung on the cross and they put nails in his wrists i get it and nails in his ankles no 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 i get it let me eat a cadbury egg all good let me search for some m&ms up oh, found them what your god died for you all good crunch ate the m&ms you know and i don't want to go to hell but there probably is none i just you know thanks instagram thanks for letting me know our god died for us but also let me eat some chocolate <laughs> Easter, huh? Um, so it was Easter, and then Monday we woke up, and then we did the Easter egg thing because, man, we were jet lagged. I'm so, I'm, I, and I know I don't believe in jet lagness, but man, I'm tired, dude. I passed out at four o'clock today, and dude, I heard, mm, mm, mom, dad, 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 and I just snapped back into it, and my son was in my face, and I was like. Oh, shit. My son doesn't know this is rude as shit. Oh, shit. I can't get mad at him, huh? I was four. He doesn't know it's rude as shit to wake someone up and I'm dead asleep. Dude, I was so asleep. It was like someone was about to do surgery on me. I was so asleep. Ah, oh, body goes, nah, uh, uh. I got a good night's sleep. Went to bed at midnight last night. Woke up at, you know, 930. Body goes, uh, 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 right around four o'clock. If you're not fucking or sleeping at four o'clock, you need to live your life to the point to where you could get to be either squirting or sleeping at 4 p.m. If you are, you win life, dude. You could either be a single person, squirting, married and squirting if your sons are grown up, or, you know, taking a little bit of a nap because your sons are running around. You got the live. You got the live. Um... So it's um, it's great. It's great. We're great. We're good. And I'm just, you know, I'm 44. It was my birthday last week. At, week, And um, it's crazy to think I'm 44. I think this is the oldest I've ever felt changing, changing my age. Like the number 44 seems crazy to me. 40 seemed fine. 43 seemed fine. 30, 35 seemed fine. 44 is crazy. 44 is crazy. I got to get that colonoscopy because I got to get that colonoscopy. got to get that guy to put that thing in my bum. See what's up. Put them cameras up there. Get the ROTC up there. Get the ROTC up my anus, dude. What's up? What's up, dude? Flash it. Flash it. Lights, lights. <laughs> flash it. Flash it. Lights, lights up in my anus. Come on. Let's do it. Um, You know, I, I, I don't know. I just got a. Life's quick, huh? What's up with Jeremy Fragrance? I imagine one of you, your name is Brittany. Is it? No. <laughs> okay. In any case, thank you. Thank this, you. This is the place where they shot the Britney Spears movie, music video sometimes here, the pier. And then a case. I imagine one of you, your name is Brittany. Is it? No. <laughs> okay. In any case, thank you. <laughs> thank this, you. This is the place where they shot the Britney <laughs> Spears movie. In any case. Oh, it's not? Okay, in any case. 
just amazing. That guy's amazing. Everyone always sends me him. I've talked about him a bunch. <laughs> In any case, <laughs> dude, Easter's. How about uh, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Hurley on Easter. You ever see this one? Thanking God today that my nephew Miles is with us for Easter today. His wound is still oozing blood. <laughs> Dude, social media fucking ruined everything, huh? It fucked everything up, right? Just can we, can we, can we just honestly understand? Can we say, you know, the the pr first person who made fucking computer, they ruined everything. Can we just say the first person who made an AOL, the first person who heard "Welcome, you've got mail," fucking ruined everything. The kakak with the AIM, kakak when someone leaves, the little yellow dude running. Thank God today that my nephew Miles is with us for Easter today. Today, twice in one sentence. Um, his wound is still oozing blood, but he's alive and we're thankful. Oozing, dude. The knife men who stabbed him are still roaming around no <laughs> London. Perhaps around your loved ones. Happy Easter. Dude. Oozing. Knife men. It's British. Thanking God today that my nephew Miles is with us for Easter today. His wound is still oozing blood, but he's alive and we're thankful. The knife men who stabbed him are still roaming around London, perhaps. Round your loved ones. Happy Easter, XX. Also, kissing him like a boyfriend. All good. Um, Elizabeth Hurley got to be crazy as shit, huh? Man, she was so, so hot in the Austin Powers. You know? Why are people crazy, dude? Knife Men is a great. That uh, if that's not a a movie that Guy Ritchie directed in the next three years, I will. I'm gonna put a bunch of M and M's up my anus. There we go. No, no Diddy. I'm doing it. Um. Oh, I'm wearing my my Kanye West shirt for you guys. I put it on. I worked out in it, dude. I missed ten days of working out. No, nine days of working out. And I went and it was like I began all over again. Hey, look, let's talk about how much it sucks when you get sick and you stop working out and then you have to go somewhere and then come back and it's been nine days and you come back and you can't push weight. I don't mean to complain the podcast, but it's like, come on, dude. That's not cool. What's the point of working out then if I lose it that quickly? It's not fair. Um, um, I know I said that I don't believe in, uh, um, what do you call it? Jet lag, but holy, holy Christ. Oh, the, the chick. Such a woman move, dude. Girl falls into LA river trying to retrieve a phone. That family member dropped. The family member was a dude, too, probably. He was just like, oh, let it go. Look at this. Look at these cops wasting resources, you know? People are just getting murdered. Mom and pop shops getting shot, getting stole, getting, uh, oh, she got good grip. Getting, uh, just robbed and people getting shot. And she's just like, wait, my tweet. You know what? If that happened to me, leave me. Leave me. I got it. I'm fine. Just whizzing by. I'm all good, dude. Don't even worry about it. It's going to be fine. I'll, uh, yeah, I might die. Who cares, dude? I tried to get a phone. This is such a chick move. No, I'll get it. How do you... How do you... That's right. Yeah, you know she voted to defund the police for real. Also, the phone's broken. You know what I mean? What you? It's all good. Just imagine floating, whizzing by in that river, just thinking it's all good. I just got to put it in rice as soon as I get it. Just, just. Oh man, you know how mad I would be. Game tax. That's what you say when you drop your phone in the river. Game tax. Sweetie, stay there. Game tax. I fucked up. 
Although they're so expensive, though, man. Phones? Aw, oh, dude, fuck Apple, huh? Fuck them all for making that shit. Remember when we were just chilling and we didn't have to pay a thousand dollars for phone? I know you don't. You can get a flip phone, but who gets a flip phone? You know, you gotta have fucking all the apps. My son the other day came up to me. He was like, "Hey, play Pac-Man on your phone." I was like, "I don't have Pac-Man." He says, "Get an app." He's fucking four. I'm like, "What? Who the fuck is teaching you about this shit?" Get an app. Get an app for Pac-Man. Like, dude, imagine growing up in a world where you just could have every everything at your fingertips. You can now. But back when I was a kid, I was born in 1980. There was outside, really. That's it. There was outside, and then there was TV, which was probably weird enough for my parents growing up. But we had TV, and then we had outside. And, 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 and we went, we were outside a lot. And we watched TV a bunch. I watched Batman and the Monkeys, dude. I watched the when they redid the Bat, the Adam West one when they put it out there when they put it on after after school. I tape them. I taped the Bat. We had v- VHSs. And one time I wanted to watch a Michael Jackson concert, and my dad said no, and I got so mad I went to bed and I woke up and he had the VHS sitting there for me. He was like, I taped it for you. That's it, dude. My son video made a seven minute video on my wife's phone today and then watched it for seven minutes and it was so boring. But like, imagine being able to do that. Imagine being able to just straight up, I mean, we can, uh, Matthew Hoban, you're going to be a dad. Happy birthday. Go to my page if you want to purchase a 10 word shout out or add holler.baby slash crystalia. The, um, let's do some of these here, uh, misconnections, uh, it's been a bit since we've done misconnections, honestly, and there's th- there's a few of them here, just a few. But I people are still doing this, huh? Like with all the shit out there, Tinder and Hinge and the gay one, they're still on Craigslist, just like sup. You know. Here we go. Part time personal assistant, part time lover. Oh, this guy's looking to get. Me too, for sure. Um, I'm looking for a woman part-time work at my office, personal assistant, and part-time a lover. Woman only. Dude, God, the internet just ruined everything, huh? This guy just is the bare minimum, doing the bare minimum, just being so lazy. Hey, guy, go out and try to get... Hey, guy, go out and try to get laid. It's supposed to be hard. You know, if I could just, let me just, uh, two birds, two birds with one stone here. I do need an assistant and I do like coming. I do, I do need an assistant and I sure love bending women over. Uh, you know, I could get a male assistant and then a female lover, but it's like, you know, just can I, if I get them both in the same, it's like cheaper and also probably less of a headache. Number one, I need my taxes done. Number two, I need someone to go to the grocery store. Number three, I certainly love splurting. So it's the deal, dude. Here's another one. Looking for a female who is into pegging. Gay. Or wants to, I don't think it's gay, actually. It's That's a good question. I, I, know, I know black people think it's gay. But, uh, like, there's no black person on the planet that thinks that getting pegged by a woman isn't sus, you know? And I I am of the camp where I think you're gay if you want to sleep with a dude and you're a dude. And that's it. Really, that's it. And then you and you do it. You can not also not do it and still be gay. It's about the want in your head, you know? I mean, you can completely splurt. I don't know if you can splurt in a dude, but you could probably hook up with one and not be gay if you if you were like, I don't know, I was with a guy once talking, and it sounds, no diddy, but this sounds, uh, but I was with, uh, and he was like, someone said, he said something suspect, and then another guy said, oh man, are you gay? And he was like, nah, nah, I'm I now, not gay. I know that. And we were like, huh? And he was like, yep, 100% certain. 
I'm not gay. And we were like, how the hell, why do you react like that? Like, why do you know? Because if you ask me if I'm gay, I'll just be like, nah, I'm not gay, you know? And he was like, why are you gay? He said, because when I was younger, I tried having sex with a man, and I'm telling you, not for me. And it's like, that's an interesting point, but also, how'd you get to the point where you were naked, you know? How'd you get to the point where you were kissing with a bone doggy? How'd you get to that point? Not for you? Kind of for you. <laughs> you know? Kind of for you. Ah, once I did it, after I split it and I came out and wiped myself off, I realized, you know what? Like, it's not fucking a Viggo Mortensen movie. It's gay sex. Yeah, I don't really like that actor. Dude, you boned him. Gay. So I think you could probably do it and not be gay, but for all intents and purposes, you're gay if you do it, right? Like, you're not going to really convince anyone you're not gay if you do it, so perception is reality. You're gay, and it's fine. But um, this one, he says, looking for a female who's in a peg. So anyway, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's gay if a female pegs you. I don't think it's gay. I've never done it myself. Uh, not because I'm not gay. Just seems like it hurts. Also, why would you be doing that when you can be doing all the other fun stuff during sex? So this is what it says. Looking for female who's into pegging or wants to try it out to take me to Gapplebee's. Disgusting. Um, How could you make it more disgusting? Dude, Gapplebee's. Frat guy wrote it drunk late at night. Frat guy wrote it drunk late at night. Dude, they take me to Gapplebee's. Classic, man. Turn my black light on. See if you can take me to Gapplebee's. Here's another guy doing the bare minimum. The subject is Starbucks white girl, and then his body is, let me take you to Cancun. Ah. Absolutely doesn't give a fuck who he takes to Cancun. It is so fucking pot-bellied and ugly, you know? Crazy. The internet's nuts. Dude, anonymous sex, you know? People do that. That's so crazy. People do anonymous sex. People do sex where you show up, and they go, oh, who you're see? They go, I don't know. They go, oh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But I, I set it up from the internet, so I guess we're fucking. And then chicks will, who is it? I don't know. Your dad died early. You know what I'm saying? Your dad died early. And that's okay. And, you know, I, I know people say to me, hey, don't ho shame or whatever. But also, let's face it, ho shame. I know they say don't, oh, it's slut shame, right? But also, and I get it, dude. Anyone could have as many partners as they want, but also. You let a lot of guys inside you. You died that early. And that's all I'm saying. And it's sad, but it's sad for you. It's sad for me, too. I don't want your dad to die early. But because of that, you know. You let a lot of guys enter you. And that's all good. It's not my business. But if you make it my business, you got to make fun of it. You know, and that's fine. Okay? It's all good. Um, Because guys like to have sex with a lot of women. And, you know, women try to shame them for it, too. I like, I like the women that are like, these guys are so shitty. I'm 35. I made I made something out of myself and I'm not married and I'm looking for a man and I'm so pissed off. I was, you know, I was listening to this woman say, I'm so pissed off because all guys are going for like these 20 something year olds and it's like they're they're perverts for that. And it's like, okay, well, you know, hey, dude, don't get upset at the guys. Just because you chose your life path, you made a decision. You made your bed laying it. You know what I'm talking about? You don't get to make us feel guilty. You made your bed lay in it. You want it to be a strong woman, hear you roar, roar. Great for you. Don't make me feel guilty. You made your bed lay in it. You know what I'm talking about? It's just like, yeah, you can do anything you want in this world, but nobody wants to. Here's, well, you can't do anything you want, right? Can't murder. They'll get you. I don't know how they're still serial killers. I can't even understand how they're still serial killers. It's absolutely ins 
And then I think about like the stuff because you know those things on the um, what do you call it? Like there's so many crime documentaries and all that stuff, and we watch all of them. Uh, and we watch them. And dude, if I was a serial killer in this in 1978, hey dude, hey, I think I could kill a thousand five hundred people. And I, I still don't think I get caught. People getting caught after eight people? Like, dude, Jeffrey Dahmer got caught? Huh? Hey, uh, John Wayne Gacy got caught? Huh? Hey, dude. Nobody had cameras. Nobody had Twitter. Nobody had nothing. I could... How do you get caught in the 80s? How would you have gotten caught? When I see movies where the police are like, or documentaries where the police are like zeroing in on a suspect, I'm like, dude, how? I tell you what. I think I could, 1,500 is a lot. I think I could probably murder. Mm, 40 to 50 people in 1980. And that's that's on God. Okay. Now, I think you could get, if you spaced them out, not all at once, right? Not like a, a, a mass killing. You could maybe get three. Anyone who gets more than three is the most gangster killer of all. How do you avoid? How do you avoid? the? Every cameras are everywhere. You ever seen that show, uh, See No Evil? Or See No, what is it? Dun, 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 dun. You know, Mary Eldridge turned 26. She took her extra babysitting money to go to, you know, and then disappear. And then they just, uh, where the ca- cameras are everywhere. Cameras are everywhere. They're on the outside of Vaughn's, they're on the outside of ShopRite, they're on the inside of Radio Shack, they're outside, you're down the street. If you get, if you leave your house, keep walking in a few steps, you're getting filmed, dude. In 1980, I could have killed 40 to 50 to 40 to 50 people. In Gapplebee's. It's nuts, bro. They're clamping down on everybody, dude. You could just go out there and say all the racial slurs back in the 80s and just do it. Fire them out there. And now you can't. And now we're filming stuff like this. Guy just screw driving into a car feet first. Guy just screw driving into... I mean... Hey, dude, how do you practice this? Also, why is he jumping from a car? Oh, that's so... I'm not going to lie. That's so cool, dude. I... I I, I, I need to do that. I, you start with convertibles, right? Make it a little easier. And you just roll down the windows. Man, the fucking... How much would it hurt if you missed, though? Your dick would just fucking scrape off. I used to have a, um, a fantasy about driving and having to go to the bathroom. And then I would just roll down my window, and as I'm driving, just pee, but my pee stream would go <laughs> enough up to go out of the window that I could just keep driving and peeing out the window without getting up and moving. But you can't do that, obviously. And honestly, I'll tell you this much. I fill up so many water bottles when I go in the in the car, I, I don't care. You're getting jet-lagged, Chris, dude. You're getting jet-lagged, Chris. We were in uh, Virginia, and I go like this to the lady. Hey, we sat down and we said because we didn't know where to go to get. We wanted to get burgers and stuff, and there were open seats at the restaurant, but it was a bar too, and there was like a live band. Live bands are so fucking annoying, dude. So loud and shit, and I just want to eat, you know, and chill. And they're just like, "Do you remember why the border? Oh, it's September, whatever." And um, we're at the bar. And we're like, hey, where do we, can we order some food? And they're like, yeah, just grab a seat anywhere. We grab a seat anywhere. Nobody's waiting on us. Waitress walks by and says, excuse me, can we get an uh, order? And she's like, well, I'm just, I'm really busy. And we're like, oh, okay. Well, they told us to sit down. And they're like, yeah, but it says reserved. So that's why we put that out there because it's really busy. 
And I'm like, oh, okay, so can you help us? And she just walked away. Dude, when I tell you, when I tell you, I mean, that's, I wanted to just be like, hey, man, when I go on stage, I kill it. I do my job. I get this isn't your dream job, but please kill your job. Kill your job. <sighs> yeah, dude. This guy, I love, why do I love guys like this, though? By the way, wearing a double-breasted suit with a turtleneck is just, I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, somebody I don't want to be around more. And I don't think I, I maybe like a smelly grunge person. A wise man once said, bees don't waste their time. Fake Italian. Bees don't waste their time. Explaining to flies that honey is better than shit. Shit! I mean, too long of a shot. Too long. It was over, you know? Dude, where is he coming from? What store is that? A fucking, is that a Claire's? Dude, this guy is on. How do you set shit like that up? This is what I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to come out of the Claire's. You stand right here. I'm going to talk about the bees and honey and shit, and uh, you know when to cut. Uh, let it go. If it, if it cure, if you're not sure, let it go for a while. I'll edit. A wise man once said... Let's break this quote down. Bees don't waste their time explaining to flies that honey is better than shit. Honey is better than shit. Be bees, hey, hey, listen, fly. Let's just break this down. Hey, listen, fly. Okay, look, honey is... Uh, yeah, no, no. This is a this is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. So, because I don't like sayings, dude. I don't like like quotes. You know, everyone. There's so. This is. There's so many ways to say this, and just because some guy says it in a fucking purple velour or purple corduroy, double-breasted suit with a cashmere turtleneck under it, who is this guy? Fabrizio Brienza. Fabrizio Brienza. Let's see what else he says. In the rain. When you focus on you, you grow. When you focus on shit, I mean, shit grows. Always has, always has to be involving shit, dude. You know? <laughs> how are we going? No, I like that idea, but how are we going to involve a shit? I mean... When you focus on you, you grow. When you focus on shit, shit grows. Nailed it. Wearing what camera on war? I mean, when do you cut, dude? Why does it take so long? Let's see. Let's see more. These are great. This guy's great. You cannot make everybody happy. You're not an ice cream truck. Ah! Oh, dude! Uh, I gotta start dressing like this. You cannot make everybody happy. You're not an ice cream truck. This guy is says stuff that would be on a shirt on Venice Boulevard that you could buy for, like, you know, Three of them for five bucks. Dude, that's such a stupid fucking... You cannot make a nice... You cannot make everybody happy. You're not an ice cream truck. Oh, my God, dude. This guy's a guy, guy, gold mine, huh? This is one. This is the first one. This is the second one. Here, put it in the chat. Um, Fabrizio. It, oh, the outfit. Dick Tracy character. The outfit. If you want to keep your man, make sure his belly's full and his balls are empty. So fucking stupid, dude. That's so gross, you know? He has a mink coat. He's wearing what my mom wore in 1992. 
And the guy, <laughs> dude, <laughs> this guy, honestly, Sharon Stone has worn that exact outfit. Somebody writes, real fur, unfollowed. A, unfollowed for different reasons. I love this. I knew this guy was going to be one of those guys, too. One of those guys where the caption is exactly what he says in the video. That's so fun. Walk so far. What, what's with all these outfits? If you-, you know what would be so funny? Is if this guy was a, a, a like n- not real, not for real. And a- at the end of everyone, he tripped really fucking hard. And it cut while like right as he was tripping. If you want to keep your man, make sure his belly is full and his balls are empty. God, that's gross, dude. My bo- make sure your man's balls are empty is so gross, dude. Be careful who you trust. Yeah, oh Even yeah. The devil was an angel uh, once. Oh yeah, dude. Come on, man. A guy Ritchie movie. Be careful who you trust. Careful. Even the devil was an angel. Once. Be careful. Dude, that is so stupid. Venice Boulevard, five five dollar five dollars for three shirts. That's, these are great. Oh my god. The littlest cup. A cape. Coffee's in enough for me anymore. I need to be struck by a lightning. Would die. God, dude, I mean, yo, social media really fucked everything up, huh? Like, this guy? This guy used to be a guy that you'd just see somewhere, and you'd be like, the fuck does this guy think he is? And now, because of the internet, he's got 277,000 followers! He's actually someone! Fuck, you know what ruined it all? The Jersey Shore. Remember? they were The, the reality show? They all were terrible people, and we glorified it. And now Fabrizio, dude, Jersey Shore walked so Fabrizio Brianza could fly. Fuck this, dude. Oh, he's got a chick in this one. I mean, dude. Oh, oh, he's wearing a leopard top and camouflage pants. The guy's so confused if he's hunting or being or being hunted. She said, I heard you're a player. Nice to meet you. I'm the coach. Ah! Oh, had it set up, locked and loaded. Uh, assault. I heard you had a nice to meet you. I'm the coach. Oh, God. Always in the same place, you know, outside of his fucking dusty ass apartment. <laughs> Dude, this guy's awesome. Ugh. Ah. Uh, he's had sex with six women, you know? Oh, here we go. I can watch this guy. Nothing. Said nothing this time. That's how it should be, honestly. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's just a picture. Oh, I'm an idiot, you know? That's just a picture. Oh, Wow. Here we go. There's one with somebody on it that's ripped. European rich kid gets an Italian workout. What's up, bro? What up? Why, how they let you you in never here? eat? Your mama never fed you? Let's go. Work out. Bro, who let this guy up here, bro? What the hell's going on here? You think you know anything about working out or band? I, I, I can pick up my muscles, huh? This is European muscles. Pretty rip. Drop and give me 50. Let's go. 50? 50. Oh. Daddy never taught you how to do a push-up? Let's go. Gonna gonna fuck hey, each other. Keep you down a okay. little bit. Come on for the gains. Come on, baby. Gonna this fuck. This is my watch. Jacob and Co. This yeah. is my watch now. Don't touch that watch. This is Don't my watch now. Watch. Say, give me 50 there. Oh, the, this is the watch. worst acting I've ever seen in my, my life. Wrist. It's on my wrist. I mug you any day, baby. Look. You what? 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 I mug you any day. <laughs> okay. This is just a warm up. Now we're going to the gym. Warm up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yes. let's go. 
come out. Take your shirt off. Why, why do I have to take off my shirt every time I work out? Because I need to see the gates. Oh, God, this, you know. Honestly, I liked it better when he just walks up to the camera and says stuff. That stuff makes me... Here we go. Here's, let's, let's end on this one. Knowledge isn't for free. You have to pay attention. Oh! Uh, get it on Venice Boulevard. Three shirts for five bucks. That's so bad, dude. Knowledge isn't free. You have to pay... T well, you actually have to pay tuition to go to, go, go to college, honestly. Oh my gosh. Hey Lizzo quit. What the fuck? She's not gonna quit. She's not gonna stay quit. She's gonna do that Jay-Z quit when remember when Jay-Z said he was gonna quit at 33? Never quit. Did never worked harder after that. Two short said he would quit. Worked way harder after that. Lizzo not gonna quit. Guarantee she's back. She's just going through an emotional time, dude. She's gonna quit and then come back and everyone's gonna be like, oh yeah, see, we need her. See, see, we we see she's such a good person, even though, you know, apparently she's being I was exposed as a bad person. Shakira is sounding off on the Barbie movie saying that its message of ultra feminism and female empowerment is misguided and comes at the expense of men. Oh, dude. Shakira, Shakira! Who lying in her like that? You day, you go mad. Um, her hips don't lie and her mouth doesn't either, honestly. The singer talked to Allure about the flick and she was brutally honest about how she and her kids, two boys specifically, felt about it and despite the overwhelming praise the movie got last year, Shakira says she and her brood weren't all that impressed. Oh, dude, of course, dude. Of course. It's so American to like this movie. That's why. I didn't see it. I gotta see it. She says, my sons absolutely hated it. Natch. They felt it was emasculating. Natch. And I agree to a certain extent. Natch. Shakira, Shakira. Dude, and she's and her and they're like eight the kids. I'm raising two boys. I want them to feel powerful too, while respecting women. Uh, I like pop culture when it comes to empower women without robbing men of their possibility to be men and also protect and provide. Yep, yep. Like the guy from fucking Storage Wars. Yep. It's just like, dude. I, I, I you know, like you got to watch the Equalizer with fucking uh, uh, what. No, her. What's her name? The TV show. Queen Latifah? Equalizer? She looks like a librarian. She's 50. Can't do what... Dude, Denzel can't... It's hard enough to buy Denzel doing it. At least, he, you know, he's been doing those roles forever. Queen Latifah. Come on, dude. She did a movie with Steve Martin, for fuck's sake. It's so insane. Hollywood is so insane. The agenda is so silly. It's so silly. I count the minutes before a gay couple comes on. I count the minutes before a gay couple comes on when I start a new series. I, I don't get past 11 minutes. I mean, and it's fine. And here's the thing, dude. If you want to have a gay couple in the in the show, that's cool. Make it good. But it's like when it's every show and then, God, I sound like an old guy. Okay, that's it. I'm old. I, you know what? How about that? I am. And, and you know what? That's okay. It's okay to be old. When people are like, oh, dude, Chris, you know, oh, dude, you're an old person. Not not me, but anybody. Oh, yeah, you're old. You're old. What do you know? Dude, some people die before that. Fuck yeah, making it. 44 making it, dude. I don't even know. I saw the movie, what's it called? With the with the hand? Let, what's, the, what's the movie with the hand? The horror movie now? horror movie with the hand on the poster it's called like uh talk to me or something yeah talk to me i didn't know there everybody was androgynous i didn't know lead character it, it was a male or a female I, I don't know it's crazy dude but whatever somebody's gonna hit the red button soon so it's okay Kanye West is tired of being referred to by his slave name, wants to be called this and said, this is so 90s to say shit like this, you know? To just be like, that's my slave name. In a recent statement, the Chicago rapper made it clear that he no longer wants to be Kanye West and how he has gone all diddy with his name. So, eh, so controversial. Um, tired of his name. Who Tired of the disrespect from everyone who calls himself Kanye West. So he's, because he's yay, right? And he says, um, 
Yiannopoulos made it known that his boss, Milo Yiannopoulos, I guess worked for Kanye, his boss is tired of people calling him by his born slave name and wants stores, union streamers, and streamers, like you can control that, and lyric websites to squarely refer to him as Ye. Yay. Yay. It's hard. Um, Kanye West pays 200K a month for child support. That's crazy. Isn't she's way rich? No. Is she, she might be richer than him at this point after he said all that stuff about Jewish people. Um, that's crazy. $200,000 a month in child support. When not neither of them, that doesn't change their lives at all. You know, he's the same. She's the same. Two hundred thousand dollars. Damn. That is so crazy. We need to. Uh, we need to get that going. We need to get. I need to get two hundred thousand dollars a month from Kanye for child for my child support. Yeah, he's one of the most recognizable people in the world on par with presidents and popes. You know, this he didn't take the decision to change his name. Potent, he didn't take, uh, potentially sacrificing some of the immense value captured by the brand Kanye West lightly. The change made fully, legally, and permanently. This is who he is now. His name is Ye. Y-A-Y. Um, well, now there's nobody's going to do it. Well, my little Yiannopoulos works for him. I didn't know that. What does he do? Chief of staff. I need to get a chief of staff, dude. Um, who would be my chief of staff? Calvin. Why do rappers keep changing their names? Who gives it? We don't give a fuck. You know? Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, Prince, part is rapper, but artist formerly known as Prince, uh, Kanye West, yay. Who cares? I'm changing mine. Um, I, I, I'll come back to you next 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 week. I'll come up with a different name. Um, you know what I'm changing mine to? Yay! That's what I'm changing mine to. We're both gonna be yay. You know, both name yay. That's what I'm gonna say when I see him. K dot changed his name to Kendrick Lamar. Most deaf changed his name to Yasmin Bay. Common sense changed his name to Common. Titty Boy changed his name to Two Chains. You know, both weren't his name. Okay, so. And then Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Dogg changed it to Snoop Doggy Dog. Changed it to Snoop Lion. And then Snoop Zilla. Hey, guy, dude. Nobody knows what you're doing anymore. Nobody calls you Snoop Zilla. Um, anyway. All right. Well, there you go. There you have it. Um, that's it for YouTube. If you want to catch the rest of the episode, go on over to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Crystalia. And we appreciate you.